Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I'm showing you guys how to complete the sacrifice ritual and open up the pack a punch in Black Ops 3 map Shadows of Evil. Now, before we get started on this video, I wanted to inform you guys that in the description down below, there's going to be a tutorial on how to build the sword, how to upgrade the sword, how to build the wonder weapon, all of the radios detailing the storyline found throughout the map, the music Easter egg, the pack a punch, basically everything that you need to know for Shadows of Evil to get started is in the description down below. Each one will have its own link, and you can click on that and check it out after this video is over. But nonetheless, make sure you do leave the like, make sure you do subscribe, and let's go ahead and jump in with this tutorial. Now, the basis of opening up the Pack-A-Punch is collecting four different items scattered in each one of the four areas around the map and finishing the ritual for each consecutive one. These can be done in any order, and there is no prerequisite to start these in any part of the map, so you can do this at any point in time while you are playing. Now, each one of the four characters has a specific area where they must complete their ritual. If you're doing this on solo or two player, you can do pretty much any one that you want. However, you must complete yours yourself if you're playing with more than one person in the game. The map is divided up into four separate areas and I'm gonna show you each area and which character goes with which one right now. So the first one up is Easy Street. Now the Easy Street is the only one that's a little bit different in the fact that it includes both the main spawn area and the first gate that you open up. All of that is the magician's area. So basically the magician has the spawn room and he also has the area that you run out to from the spawn room. That is the magician's area. That is where you're going to find everything magician related. And the next one up is the canal district. The canal district goes with the cops. So everything cop related will be through these gates. It's not like the magicians where it has a separate area as well. Everything cop related will be through those gates. Now the next one up is the waterfront district. Now through these gates is everything boxer. So all of the boxer ritual, the boxer item will all be inside of there. And last but not least, we have the floodlight district, which is the femme fatale. Everything of the girls is inside of these gates. Her item, her ritual location and everything will be through these doors. So just keep that in mind and this will help you navigate around the map and kind of learn it a lot quicker. Now, the first thing that we are going to be solving is the magician's item and location for the ritual. All of this stuff will be appearing in your dashboard, and I'm going to quickly walk you through it right here before we get started. Now, first off, you need to know where you're going. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and turn into the beast and go shock this little panel. This will cause this crane to move around, and it will drop a box on there. You don't have to hit it out of the air. You don't have to do anything special, but it will drop it right there, and that is the first thing that you need to do, and that is what I'm going to be doing now. The first one, I'm going to be going through super super slow and then after that we'll pick up the pace so you guys kind of get a feel for it and everything like that there's also a little panel right here that you can shock if you need to do that so go ahead grab anything turn into the beast and as you can see shock that and the box will turn around and drop into the spawn area as you can see it'll drop after just a few seconds you don't have to hit it or anything like that i was just doing that just for fun and as you can see it will drop the first item right there on the ground now you can do multiple parts of these in one beast form but i was just going slow so you guys can keep up with me and know exactly what i'm doing but there it is the first item the gold fountain pen now make sure that you realize after every item that you pick up these little kind of gatekeepers these little things will spawn in and start attacking you so make sure you know that that is happening and make sure you are ready to take on two extra enemies every single time you do this so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and turn into the beast again and right out of the spawn area there is a place to grapple now i'm assuming you know how to grapple but if you don't it's just the right trigger you can grapple up run the path that i am running here and then you need to shock this little panel down here now what this does is it opens up a second staircase in the spawn area which is going to allow you to go up and complete the ritual and i'm going to show you guys what that looks like right here so as you can see i finish up with the beast and this new staircase has now been opened up i'm going to go all the way up to the top and grab the pen and put it on the table here so that's very very easy all you have to do is run into this room place it on the table and then you can go ahead and hold X and begin the ritual. And as you can see, what this does is it will spawn in all of these enemies around you and they will start chasing you. Uh, just basically survive this. You don't have to kill a single one. What I like to do is just start training them a little bit and do it at the end of a round because if you do it with zombies running in as well, it does get pretty darn crazy. They will just be like normal zombies that are floating in the air. They don't really do anything. You don't have to kill them or anything. I was just kind of doing it for some extra points. But as you can see, it will finish the ritual. This guy will die and it will spawn in one of these gate worms. As you can see, it will go to the table. Make sure you go up, grab that, and that is one-fourth of the way done. That is the magician's slot completed, and you are good to go to move on to the next piece of the puzzle. Now, next up, we're going to be solving the Fem's puzzles and grabbing her gate worm. So what you need to do is make your way to this floodlight district and do exactly what I do here. Make sure you turn into the beast, grapple up above the black lace uh, burlesque, 
go up there, shock the panel, which will open up the doors to the ritual area, and then immediately grapple across to the other side. Now, you won't have to buy any doors for this. You can just run straight over there. And then you need to jump off that ramp onto the balcony and whip that box off. Now, if you have some extra time at this point, you can go ahead and shock the uh, the openings and everything like that. You can turn on the panels and everything, but it is not required. After you just smack that box off of the edge, you are good to go. So as you can see, the door is now open to the black lace burlesque, and then you need to go grab your item to place on the table. And that is basically all this one is. It's a very, very simple one to do. It really only requires one beast if you do it quick enough. As you can see, the item will fall to the ground on the way to this area. Uh, obviously, the two little gatekeepers will spawn on, and I just kind of decided to run away from them and uh, go activate the ritual which again you do the same exact thing you just kind of run a little train inside here finish it off and you will be good to go and you will have the next gateworm and uh, just just as a quick note here every two gateworms that you grab a new giant guy will spawn in this giant kind of little boss alien thing will spawn in every single time you pick up your second gateworm so on gateworm 2 and gateworm form just be aware that a boss zombie will spawn as you pick those up so just be ready to take those guys out and you will be good to go anyway let's move on to the third of the four gateworms to be collected now next up we are going to be getting the cops gateworm from the canal district again you can do this in any order that you would like just make sure if you're playing with more than one person you do the one that is for you it won't let you do it if it's not for you so you'll know right away that you made a mistake but what you need to do is open up the door to the cop area make sure that you bought all the different areas in here and open up all the gates and whatnot and then go ahead and turn into the beast you're going to make a way down into the sewer area because this is where we're going to be collecting the item as you can see there are two different things to whip open in here and one thing to shock so as you can see i've whipped open the door i have whipped open the little box there and make sure you, as the beast you go over to this corner and shock this open it will be like a little wall that you can walk through if you are the beast and go in there shock the thing and it will open up the gate allowing you to pick up the card but first before we do that we're going to go ahead and open up the ritual location which is inside of the ruby rabbit so find the grapple location as the beast in the ruby rabbit go all the way down to the bottom floor and there will be another shock location to open up a staircase go ahead shock that as you can see it's going to open up some stairs you're going to be good to go and now you can go ahead and collect the item and complete the ritual i'm going to show you the location of both just in case you missed it and uh i'm not actually going to be solving the ritual on this because I did the clips out of order, but uh, you're going to get the idea nonetheless. So as you can see, what you need to do is go back down to the sewer area and then this little box that we whipped open, which is right next to the door that we whipped open, you need to go ahead and grab this little piece right here, grab the badge. Obviously two enemies will spawn in. You're going to kill those enemies and then you're going to take this into the ruby rabbit. You're going to go up the staircase that you made as you can see right here. Okay. You're going to go up here and make your way up to the second floor and then place the badge on the, on the little altar right there start the ritual and complete it as you can see i picked it up in the wrong order i hadn't picked up the badge yet but just place it there complete the ritual as usual and you will be good to go you will be good to uh to pick up that gateworm and you now have three out of the four gateworms to open up the pack-a-punch area now last but not least we're going to be collecting the fourth and final gateworm which is in the waterfront district which is the boxers gateworm now this one is very very easy to do there's a lot of optional stuff that you can do that is part of the sword quest in this area that i'm going to show you guys where it is but it's not necessary at all this is what you need to do to get the boxers item right here turn into the beast repel up here and whip down that box that is all you need to do for the part of the pack a punch ritual now everything that else that i am doing inside of this beast form while i'm doing this is just for uh, just for unlocking other things opening up other walkways and stuff like that you don't have to do anything else that i'm doing here i'm just showing it to you just because it's a part of the footage you can whip those open for part of the sword quest which again is in the description down below if you want to build your sword and upgrade it yada 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 none of that was useful that is the only thing you need to do which is right at the beginning which is whipping down that box the item will fall break and then be on the floor right there to uh to be picked up and then you can kill the uh kill the enemies here and be good to go to collect the fourth and final gateworm which uh requires one more beast to actually open it up and again you can do these you can do all this in one beast if you would like but uh, i just chose to do it in multiple ones to save the most time and uh show you guys everything that you need to know for this uh for this uh, this tutorial so again make sure you go into the beast make sure you have one saved up go all the way down to the very very front 
of this little boxing arena, whip open the doors, and you are good to go. You can go ahead and turn into the human. You can see the Shadow Man standing there. And that is basically all you need to do for the boxer. Again, you're just going to go ahead and spawn in the uh, the fourth and final gate worm and complete the ritual and be good to go for the very, very end. And keep in mind, if this is, if this is your fourth one, it will spawn in a big guy at the very, very end, so be ready to take him out. But after that, you are good to go. You are ready to move on to the next step of opening with a pack a bunch which means you are almost done with the entire process we'll have to go ahead and get started now the last step to open up the pack a bunch is to go into the ripped area again this can be found anywhere the easiest one is probably to go to the door you whipped open while we were doing the boxers again go back and watch that but all you have to do is hold x on that go inside of there and go to the rift area i'm not going to show you everything that's in the rift area because a lot of it isn't important but make sure you get to this location at least once using one of these little portals on the side here and then go to the door which will be completely lit up if you've collected every single gateworm you can plus the select to see which ones you haven't collected and stuff like that but this will open up the secret door now there is a couple different things you need to place while you are in this room you need to go over to each one of the four corners of this thing and place the gate worm down so as you can see you can okay. you can kind of do this uh in any order that you want it doesn't matter which one you put it in but you just need to place each of the four gate worms in it will spawn in some walls here and make sure you don't die whenever you are wall running i accidentally jumped off one time it will kill you make sure you don't die when you're wall running just walk up start wall running get across don't think about it too much but just don't fall at the same time place the fourth and final gate gate worm and this will activate the altar at the very very beginning which your last final step to opening this up is to complete one ra one last ritual inside of this room to open up the portal and finish the gate worms so you're gonna go ahead and place the last one again more enemies will spawn you can just start wall running around you can run it all in one area just survive the whole time you don't have to kill any of them just like the normal ones and uh it'll just be on a timer and it's gonna be it's gonna have some pretty cool stuff after we complete this here again make sure that you you practice the wall running before you, st you spawn this in i almost killed myself a few times on that and uh just wait 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 and eventually the process will complete and i'm gonna let you guys listen to what happens right here because it is pretty darn nifty your service to the overlords is appreciated our complete assimilation of this dimension will now proceed are you fucking kidding me? Is that it? Are we like completely doomed now? So there you go. The Shadow Man has betrayed you and become the Tentacle Man, which we're going to see more of him in a huge, huge format in just a second whenever we go outside and take a look at the sky after opening up the Pack-A-Bunch. It's a really, really amazing, but I wanted to just briefly mention the Pack-A-Bunch now has multiple abilities. The now, now the Pack-A-Punch is going to allow you to Pack-A-Punch your gun multiple times to get different abilities on your gun, which I will talk about in a future video, and that will be linked down below in the description as well. But here we go. Let's go ahead and check out the outside area right here. As you can see, Shadow Man has become very extra tentacly, and he is up in the sky, kind of uh, just about to smother the whole city and eat the whole thing. So uh, this is going to be something that we solved in the Easter egg. I'll be putting that up on my channel as soon as we solve it. I hope to be one of the first people to solve that. And as soon as it is solved, I will have a full tutorial up on my channel as well. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you check out the description as well for all of the different Pack-a-Punch guns abilities. Just to give you an example, there's one called Turned, which whenever you kill a zombie with a double Pack-a-Punched gun, it has a random chance of turning them into a friendly zombie zombie which runs around and attacks other zombies on the map absolutely amazing make sure you guys stay tuned for all of the different effects i'm going to show you guys how to use each and every effect on the map and uh i'm going to show you guys basically everything that you need to do about zombies but that is going to wrap it up for this one we're going on 13 minutes so i'm going to wrap it up here again if you guys have enjoyed make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more zombies videos i will see you guys in the next one and goodbye my friends